Hey there, Dr. Chris Cooper here with Cascade Chiropractic and Wellness. Today we're going to talk about ITB syndrome and specifically how I cured my ITB syndrome last year and I'm currently treating it this year. If you've ever suffered from this, stick around. You're going to want to see this is going to be an awesome video. And if you know someone who's suffering from this currently, share this video with them. We're going to jump into anatomy first and what is ITB syndrome. ITB stands for iliotibial band. Specifically, this is your iliotibial band, this blue section right through here. The big players for the muscles, we have glute max, glute medius, TFL. All of these run into a connective tissue band called ITB. That's, that's short for the iliotibial band. It runs down and it attaches to your tibia here. As you run, it's usually a running problem, not always, but as you run, this leg swings back and here comes the pain. The pain usually presents right through that lateral part of your knee, the outside part of your knee here. And it's usually an overuse friction problem. So let's jump in to the treatment. This is what I've used. There's a lot of ways to treat ITB syndrome, but this is what worked for me. The first one I think is the most important is to adjust and mobilize the pelvis, lumbar spine, hip, knee, and ankle. Moving these joints gets the entire lower extremity moving well together. Your body is a very complicated biological machine. All the gears need to work together and make everything move well. If one of these pieces is restricted or out of place or not moving well, it's not going to allow you to function properly. Getting these things moving well will allow you to run better without knee pain. Number two on the list is massage and myofascial release. This can be performed by a massage therapist, a chiropractor, a physical therapist, anything to get the muscles surrounding your iliotibial band loosened up, moving well, flowing free will be great to take the pressure off of that pain spot. The third one on the list is rehab. Rehab is a big world, and there is so many rehab exercises you can do for IT band. These are some of the ones I've found have worked for me. Lateral leg lifts, clamshells, using elastic bands to strengthen your lateral hip structures doing lateral steps and monster walk. Doing balance training using a pad or a BOSU ball. This provides stability to the hip, knee, and ankle. Fourth one on the list is cupping, specifically for musculoskeletal conditions. This is great to lift the fascia off of the structures involved, provide extra blood flow, get things moving better. And the fifth one on the list is honorable mention. These ones that I didn't find super effective or moderately effective, these include things like ice, icing the area, ice packs, reduced inflammation, things like that. Cold laser to help with healing times and reducing inflammation as well. Reducing your exercise. I know this isn't super popular with runners, but reducing the miles you do per week can often help with getting you over the hump of inflammation, overuse injury. Using orthotics in your running shoes. Going along with this is talking about gait or foot strike. With how your foot hits the ground, if things aren't stable, if things are, are shifting, it can put extra pressure on this and cause that inflammation. Well, I hope you found something useful in this video. If you know someone with ITB syndrome, please share this video, get the word out, no one has to suffer from this. If you like this video, please like our Facebook page or subscribe to our YouTube channel to see more updates when we come out with new videos. And in the meantime, be well.